Hello, Tina from Target Tamers here to discuss the Maven C1 10x42s and how they're good for birding, hunting, and even some nighttime observation. I'll give you a quick rundown of the glass and build quality to start with, so let's do that right now. The C1s are straight from the C series, so they have both Japanese and Chinese components and are assembled in the Philippines. The, they have uh, roof prisms, more specifically Schmidt Pachan prisms, a little bit more complicated to make, but still absolutely in need of those specialized pris prism coatings, i.e. dielectric coatings. I point this out because you will not find dielectric coated binoculars in the entry level market. That doesn't start until the mid-range category. ED glass, extra low dispersion glass. The first time I looked at the C1s, I was really impressed. I was not expecting glassing performance like that. And at that point in time, I hadn't yet looked through a pair of binoculars with that type of quality. Second of all, I had just gotten another pair of 10 by 42s with ED glass and the Mavens wiped them out of the water. Now, why is that? ED glass is not created equal. That is because there is no industry standard on the expected performance of what ED glass binoculars should look like. Yes, you have those expected benefits on paper, but that doesn't always translate to actual real world performance. Now that tells you that Maven did go the extra mile and looking to the major contributing factors such as glass sourcing quality, glass processing methods, think grinding and polishing, that truly does make a big difference in producing a real mid-range optic. Now let's jump right into a build quality. The C1 binoculars weigh 24.5 ounces definitely fits our definition of what a mid-size binocular should be and is. Truth be told, I find these a little bit heavy. They are heavier than my other 10 by 42 options, but at least we know that it's all muscle, or in this case, all quality. It has a polymer frame, it's IPX6 rated, so it's waterproof, and it's nitrogen purged, so it's fog proof as well. Has really good rubber armor, body all, all over it. Uh, focus knob works really well. The diopter is really stiff for me and it has been since day one and this is even after a few years of owning it. It still hasn't loosened up for me. Not a big deal because once I set it I can forget about it. Now the eye cups are four multi-click multi positions including all the way in. A really good feel. They don't move when you've got them out. Now after a lot of use over the years my right eye cup has come off its seat so if I keep twisting it it eventually comes right off the eyepiece. That's not a big deal to me because it gives me a chance to clean off the dust and the dirt that gets under there. I can easily twist it back on. If you're concerned about any of the mechanical or optical issues in the binocular don't be because it comes with the Maven unconditional lifetime warranty. They'll take care of it. What about its uses? So I don't have any wildlife glassing pictures or a visual performance kind of pictures. You'll have to check out the extensive uh, written hands-on field test, which is in a link in the description below to catch those. But what I do have for you in the video review are distance shots. That is different targets at different distances with the 10 times magnification and what you can expect to see. So let's check those out right now. Now, are these good for hunting? Absolutely, and I get to say that because I've taken these on an elk hunt. Long story short, day one, the 15 to 45 spotting scope that I brought along with me underperformed. Pulled out the 10 by 42s, even though it had only 10 times magnification, the glass quality is what made up for what I couldn't get in distance. I 
high glassed ridges, open areas, valleys, and even some decently thick timber. You can also use these for tree stand, tree stand hunting, bow hunting, waterfowl, even in thick timber if uh, 10 times is what you need. Now, I only had a neck strap on this hunt and it was really annoying to me to have this kind of movement because of the what I feel is the additional weight. So these have a permanent place in my chest harness once hunting season comes around. How about for bird watching? Bird watching is pretty good if you can get past the weight. This isn't like you're going to be sewing it away in a pocket while you're on a nature walk and you want to pull them out and get quick glimpses at the local birds. If you are doing that, you must have pretty big pockets. But this is what I would uh, recommend is to wear it with something that you find comfortable, either a neck strap or a chest harness, pouch, backpack, something like that. Uh, it's the, really, the glass quality is what will uh, bring it up to par for bird watchers who are on the go. The ED glass does minimize chromatic aberration. You will find that there is a little bit of a natural edging to targets uh, at different times of the day with different light and depending on what you're looking at, uh, but mostly it will definitely pass the minimum requirements for a casual birder. What about its low light use? R Pretty decent performer for low light use. I've been really harsh with these. I've taken them out into conditions when the sun has long gone down. Uh, the moon doesn't come up till 1 a.m. and yet I still put, the, put it through its paces. I can see out to about 200 yards with a lot more brightness than what you can see with the naked eye. But that's about as far as I could get. If you're going to be coyote hunting or hog hunting, just get night vision. Now, what about people watching at night? I live rurally, so I'm not going to be able to see much around here. But if you're in the city or a town where there's a lot of artificial light, street lights, uh, house lights, car lights, it should work for you pretty adequately, especially if you're in security or law enforcement. What about stargazing? These are possible for stargazing. You can see a lot more stars than what you can see with the naked eye and you can see a lot more details on the moon. Now imaging is a different story and if you know anything about astro astrophotography you already know that but if you're just getting into it or you want to casually see what you can do with your C1 binoculars mount it to a tripod is the first thing. The second thing if you're using your smartphone to take the picture you want to get an astronomy me app two reasons one it tells you exactly what you're what you're seeing when you point the phone to the sky and two it also may come with filters especially a moon filter the moon is really bright to look through with optics and the app can have a moon filter to help tone down that brightness so it doesn't blow out your image when you're ready to take the picture General observation, excellent for general observation. Think uh, events, backpacking, hiking, camping, all of the above, great for that. I've even taken these to the target range. I do like to take a pair of binoculars with me for whatever reason, I like to have them on hand and they can see groupings on white at 100 yards. Obviously shoot and see is gonna be a lot better, but most of the time your rifle scope, if it has good glass, you're not gonna need a swatting scope or even a pair of binoculars. It's still a decent performer for target range use. Now is it target tamers worthy? I think you already know the answer to that. I've used these extensively. I've had them for a long time. It's still in great condition other than that funky eye cup thing but that doesn't bother me. It's because of all my hands-on experience with it, I get to deem it target tamers worthy. Now, you're not quite sure if the C1s are for you. Maybe you want something a little bit bigger. Not a problem. Check out in the description below the link to my Maven, Com Maven binocular comparison guide where I take you through all the differences of all the binoculars so you can choose the right one for your needs and one that fits a budget. For example, if you have more money to spend, you might want to check out the B-Series. If you don't want to stray too far from your current budget but you want something a little bit bigger, check out the C3 with 50 millimeter objective lenses, those are sweet. Now show your support for Target Tamers by liking this video and subscribing. I love to talk about optics. Now that you've had your couch time to watch this video review, get out and glass. Thanks guys, see you later.